Welcome to our J Crazy News Headlines and a special Monday afternoon those who are watching this news broadcast. Now to my viewers and my subscribers, let me refresh your memory for a bit. How many of you remember this killing of Andrea Lowe Garwood? This killing was caught on national television in a church while she was worshipping the Lord. You remember when a lone gunman came in the congregation and sit behind her and doing praise and worship? That gunman pulled the trigger and the church was in pandemonium. I believe it happened in a church in Chilani. Now, Miss Gall was a worker at a NCD branch in Montego Bay, if you are remembered. Now, her feud was a domestic feud with her stepson, who is Javon Garwood. Now, Javon had disputed her over money, land, house, etc., which his father left. Now, the father is the man you see on the screen right now with Andrea Lowe Garwood. Now, since the killing of Andrea Low Garwood in January 2021, we have not heard anything about the case until today. This is the father you see on the screen right now, who was married to Andrea Garwood, who was the stepmother of Javon Garwood. Now, Javon accused her of many things, including her of killing his mother to get the money and the will from his father. And this domestic violence got so bitter that Javon Garwood paid a hitman who is Dwight Binham to go in the church and pose as a person come to church and during praise and worship on live television in Trelawney, that big church in Trelawney, Andrea Garwood's life was taken. Remember I know the car was driven from driven by rather Javon Garwood. And the lone gunman instructed by Javon Garwood to take her out. Now today, now this is Javon Garwood, a past student of Monroe College. Now Javon Garwood has been not guilty to the murder of his stepmother in court today, which to me this is very strange because based on the commission of the killer, Javon Garwood is the one who planned the murder of his step mother. However, the killer who is Dwight Benham has pleaded guilty to murder and also illegal pushing of firearm and ammunition in court. We are towards Rary Lane in the parish of St. James where last night a JLP activist was shot and killed at his shop. Now his name is George Waller Henry. Now George was his shop in the district of St. James, very lane to be exact, when a lone gunman came to the shop. That lone gunman opened fire, hitting Mr. Henry multiple times before escaping. Now another man was shot and injured as well. All this happened at exactly 8 p.m. last night. The police are investigating. So far there's no motive as to why Mr. Henry was murdered. The police are investigating. Head to the parish of Kingston and St. Andrew where this afternoon a hairdresser was shot and killed by gunmen. Now, them call her Stephanie or Browning. Now, she was on her way to pick up her son, a three-year-old son at school where she was attacked by criminal elements. Now, based on information, she was shot in the head. Now, it happened 12 noon along Delamere Road in Walton Park, King St. Andrew. Now, Browning has died leaving four children, my viewers. Yes, four children. Now, based on information, it's a matter of can't catch Quarko, but you must catch him certain situation. Because in our area, there is tension going on. Because before her killing, the dumb murder which happened in our community. The police are investigating. But however, my viewers, this is very tragic and brazen and brutal by these criminal elements. And I tell you every day now that Jamaica crime rate is getting worse and worse every week, every month, 
every year. It gets worse and worse and nothing is being done by individuals, the police and the government. The government is busy stealing taxpayers' money and filling their pockets. But when it comes down to crime and violence, they have no solutions on stopping it. Because you know why? Because politicians make money off crime and violence in this country. The way to the parish of Portland, but this morning, a man who is not known to the public was found with his head bashed in on Harbour Street in Portland, Jamaica. Now, based on information, the body of the man was observed and discovered by a passerby who called the police. When the police came to the scene, they saw a man who is not known to the public with his head bashed in. Now, this happened exactly 5 a.m. this morning in Portland, Harbour Street to be exact. Now, the man's body has been removed to the mob. Now, the police are asking person, the public, to assist them in locating the family of this man and also coming to the mob and identifying this man. The police are investigating. Now, it was the parish of St. Elizabeth, Black River to be exact where two women has been so far charged for trying to seek in contraband, cell phones, and other illegal accessories in food to the Black River Police Station lockup. Now all this happened exactly Saturday night, which was July 1st. Now the women who are charged are 41-year-old Tracy Ann Campbell of a St. Catherine address and also a teacher who is Madeline Forrester of a St. Mary's address in the parish of St. Elizabeth. Now, based on information, the police did the operation crack down at the institution on Saturday night. I discovered that the two ladies brought items for two separate prisoners. Now, Madeline's son is in the prison cell at Black River Police Station, and the police gave search of the food items. Now the police found cell phones, tobacco, ganja, cigarettes, lighters, and also concrete nail in the food items. Now the two women were arrested and charged for smuggling illegal substances. Now both Madeline Forrest and also Tracy and Campbell are to appear in court tomorrow to answer the charges and where they will see their fate. The police are investigating. Way towards Maple and Clarendon, where a teen lost his life in a dispute over money. Now that is 18-year-old Javoy Zachary Mackenzie of Harris Street in the parish of Clarendon. Now based on information, Sunday morning at exactly 4 a.m., Zachary or who them call Jagba were in a dispute with a man who is of age 20 over money. Now, the dispute got physical where a knife was brought into play. Now, Zaki was stabbed in his left grown area, taken to the hospital where he died while undergoing treatment, my viewers. Now, the man who did the stabbing is now in police custody. The police investigating. May I tell the people, we're in an age of vampires. This generation cannot solve nothing in a very decent manner. It's all about taking each other's lives and shedding bloodshed in this country. May I tell you, Jamaica, Jamaica. Never ceases to amaze me how Jamaicans prefer killing each other instead of sitting down and solving a dispute. Ignorance always wins the day. I tell you. Violence is all the answer when it comes to a dispute in Jamaica. Sad, sad indeed. An 18 year old losing life. All because of dispute over money. You know what struck me when I read this news article? Is that Javai was murdered 
by his own friend over money dispute. Now we head towards Central Village once again where a murder took place last night. You know, Central Village has become tense following the feud of Chinatown versus Elbow. However, these two men who were shot one fatal is from Garden Pen, Spanish Town. Now, last night, two men were in a location in Chinatown when they were approached by armed thugs who fired several shots, shooting the two men. Now, what has succumbed to his injuries so far? Them called him Ray Ray, who is from Garden Pen in Spanish Town. However, at this time, no one knows the motive as to why he was murdered and as to why he was doing in Chinatown. But unfortunately, he was murdered by criminal elements. The police are investigating. This is Jay Crazy News once again. Until then, have a blessed and safe Monday afternoon. Yeah man, I'm here see a black legend. I'm here represent for Jay Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. So watch, like, comment, subscribe, and share out the thing. Jay Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. He review news and entertainment. Celebrity lifestyle movements as well. Jay Crazy not play with him, I review the thing them. Jay Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. He review news and entertainment. Celebrity lifestyle movements as well. Jay Crazy not play with him, I review the thing them. Review the thing them, review the thing them Check crazy Reviewing news, entertainment and celebrity lifestyle Review the thing them, review the thing them Check crazy